So you have your new super automatic coffee machine and you're excited to load it up with some of your favorite beans, push a button and enjoy an excellent coffee, espresso or milk based beverage. Hey coffee lovers, Mark here from wholelottheylove.com. Today, how to select good beans for your machine, what to look for and beans to stay away from. Along the way, I'll have a pro tip, go over how to adjust your grinder for best flavor and have some specific bean recommendations. Now, selecting good beans is about flavor, of course, but it's also very important for proper machine operation. There are two types of beans that can cause problems. Dark roasted beans with an oily surface sheen and beans with added flavoring. So, do not use beans with shiny, oily surfaces or added flavoring. Beans that look like this produce ground coffee that's, well, kind of gummy or sticky. Over time, it can clog the coffee ground chute between your machine's grinder and brew unit. A couple of well-known brands, I'm not picking on anybody in particular here, to stay away from are the very dark roasts from Starbucks, Kirkland, and Pete's. Now, lighter roasts from those brands with no oily surface shine, those are absolutely fine to use. So if you like dark roast, here are some alternatives that get that flavor and are fine for use in super automatic machines. We like Filicori Gran Crema Forte. Illy Dark Roast, Gimme Coffee's Dark Roast, and Maroma's Platinia. If dark roasts aren't your thing or you're looking to go beyond the typical and try something new, stick around for the end of the video for some recommended medium roasts as well as our favorite beans for milk-based drinks. And here's a pro tip. Beans are often over-roasted to cover up flavor defects in inferior low-quality coffees. So always be just a little suspicious of those very dark roasted beans. If they have an oily surface sheen, in many cases that's the flavor, be it bad or good, that's been roasted right out of the bean. Now here's a flavored coffee I picked up at a local supermarket. And when I say flavored, I'm talking about oils and aromatics added after roasting and not flavor that was naturally in the bean. Notice the shine and the rather dark roast. Flavored whole beans should not be used in super automatic machines. If you really like flavored coffee, you can use it in pre-ground form through the bypass doser of your machine. So your machine has a grinder, but what grind settings should you use? The two things to consider here are the type of coffee you're making and the roast level of your beans. What you want to do is tend toward a finer grind for shorter coffees like espresso and set coarser for, you know, like a regular longer coffee. For roast level, tend toward a finer grind for lighter roast and coarser grind for a darker roast. In the end, we suggest giving more weight in determining your grind setting to the length of coffee over the roast level. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind when changing a grind setting. First, it's typically okay to adjust a grind coarser multiple steps all at once. But when adjusting finer, adjust just one notch at a time, brew and adjust again if needed. If you can adjust the grinder while it is grinding, you can adjust multiple steps finer in one go. But again, only make multi-step finer adjustments with the grinder actually running. Now, be aware it may take a number of brewing cycles to get the full effect of grind size adjustments in your cup. This is because most machines have adaptive brewing systems that adjust the coffee dose after making a grind size adjustment. Now, to finish up, as promised here, are some medium roast coffees that we really like. From Parisi Artisan, check out their 24th Street blend, Sumatra Single Origin and Certified Organic Bolivian. All those are great choices as stepping stones to more exotic coffees. For espresso lovers, one of our favorites is Gimme Coffee's Leftist Espresso Blend. It's made up of shade-grown beans. It's balanced from start to finish with chocolate, ripe fruit, and toasted hazelnut. For milk-based drinks, our favorite by far, Maroma's Orphea. And our customers give it consistent five-star reviews. It's an amazing coffee with rich, long-lasting crema and a chocolate flavor that's never bitter and just works in a latte, cappuccino, or flat white. If you're interested in any of those coffees, use the link up here to learn more and purchase, or see the video description for direct links to all of them. 
I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and I do hope you'll subscribe to the channel and come back soon to learn more about the good stuff on everything coffee brought to you of course by wholelattelove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.